make sure to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. <laughs> oh! Hello everyone, my name is Yuka. Today I'm going to be talking about my Shichigo san photo shoot. So, Shichigo san is the celebration for kids 3, 5, and 7 years old to celebrate their growth. And healthy life because it's a Japanese traditional thing but I was also supposed to do it a couple years ago but because of COVID we couldn't go to Japan and that's where we usually go it got cancelled but we actually just found out recently that they have kimono rentals so that means we could do Shichigo style photo shoot and we were able to oh. so there I was there with a couple of my friends and then I had like a lot of pictures there and like I felt like I was like some super mom. I was able to be in like kimono, like beautiful clothes and it's a Japanese traditional thing and me and my friends had so much fun taking all those pictures and pictures together too. I took pictures with my friends and my mommy. That day was really fun. I enjoyed doing Shichigo Sun photo shoot. Kimono coordinator, she um, helped me change the length of the kimono. And it was still the same one too, which is cool. <laughs> and she also adjusted my kimono and also fixed it. Was it comfortable? Were you yes. comfortable in kimono? Yes, I was comfortable. Oh, that's good. How was your sandal, the Japanese sandal? Okay. Sometimes it's hard to walk, and sometimes it may hurt. Yeah. After a while, it does start to hurt. Yeah. I'm glad that we brought sandals. That's true. It's a, it's a good idea to bring some sandals, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, Yuka, what was wrong with your tabby socks in the beginning? Did you have some difficulties? off my normal puma socks so instead i just wore the tabby socks on top of my puma socks and what happened <laughs> i couldn't wear my shoes <laughs> <laughs> yeah the tabby socks is a special socks how special is it like it's like socks with mm -hmm. like these like ninja sh shoes or something. Yeah, it's actually the separated, right? The finger area, the yeah. thumb. Only the big, big toe. Yeah, the big toe and the small toes are separated. I'm actually glad that they found out why I couldn't wear it because if it was like that, I'd probably be stuck like that for a long time. I know. I'm glad they find out like <laughs> in the very beginning. <laughs> I cannot wear my socks. <laughs> I mean, you cannot walk with that. Yeah, I'm <laughs> having a hard time. We are all laughing like, what? <laughs> Who does that? You. <laughs> and the boys there, they had um, like this wooden sword, also known as a wooden katana. They posed with it, and then there was this umbrella that I used. It was, the, I really liked the design. It was traditional for Japanese, and it's like all fancy. Really cool how I experienced holding that umbrella for the first time, because I've always wondered how it actually is like in real life and I actually just experienced it for like the first time. It was really cool. I, I actually liked it, but it was heavy. So my mom's friend is a photographer, so she took a lot of pictures for us, from me turning into a cat, to me sitting down, 
Can you just pose normally? Can you just turning around? And then to me spinning. Now, the photo of the photographer is Eri chan. Yay! Did she tell you how to pose and everything? Yes, and sometimes I just made it up too. And then at one part, my mom decided that I should wear cat ears and I turned into a little kitty cat. So we had similar cat ears to this and then add on collars and then gloves. I really like the bow and the flower and we brought some fake hair. Ta-da! Pretty cool, right? This one is like curly, curly, brownish, blackish, ponytail. Feels nice. I like it. <gasps> if I had to rate it from 1 out of 10, I would rate it 100 out of 10. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it was 10 times better than you expected. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So if you want to like wear kimono, like kimono rental, um, for like wedding party, kachyo kimono, I really recommend her. It was actually really good. She has lots of selections and she helps a lot during the photo shoot, especially the poses. She knows a lot of good poses. And if you want these beautiful photos, make sure to contact Eddie Travel Graphy. I put both information down below, so check it out. But before you leave, make sure you subscribe to this channel and give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Bye! Yay! Yeah. Yeah! Well, let's get the view!